I'm gonna show you a little behind the scenes that most people don't get to see. And for a reason, it, it's actually called Sally Port, which historically is a, kind of a fortified area of protection. And that's what this area is sometimes when dogs come in and they need a space before they can go to health check or they're processed. They're in this Sally Port area. And this guy that I ran into, oh, my heart just goes out to him because you can just see in his eyes, he just wants to melt into the floor and disappear. Let's go sit with him. There we go. Hi. You scared? Is it a scary place? Oh, he's cute. He's got some real fluffy hair. Almost like, almost curly hair. Let's see, let's see if we can use a treat. Hey, I know you just got here and it's a little scary, but it's gonna be okay. Is he taking it? I'm starting to. Okay. There you go. Okay. That's good. Oh, we can yeah, we can make some progress here. This is gonna be this is gonna be fun. Um okay, so he Here's the thing, he is obviously shut down and for understandable reasons, like he just came in here, he still has his collar on and we're actually in kind of a back area of the shelter. But I just, when I saw him, I was like, I gotta sit with him. You know, he, he may go back to his owner. I don't know, I don't know his story. We're gonna find out here in a minute. But he needs to be reassured that it, it's okay. At what speed we reassure him will be up to him. Like, I'd love to scoop him up and put him in my lap right now, but he is not ready for that. He's kind of a big, like a big terrier mix, maybe. Let's see. Let's see if he'll take a treat from my hand. No, I smell funny. <laughs> oh, maybe. Here, I'll look away. Oh, his little tongue. I feel his little tongue. That's cute. And I'm going to let him check me out. Oh, he's cute. He is he is a love bug i'm gonna try to get a little closer to him now this when they're in this state they he could dart to the front of the kennel which is fine and this is a little different like the other kennels i sit in they have a little more width i know it looks kind of wide in here because of the fisheye lens that i have on my camera but it's not here we'll put this camera here so you can see his cute little face look at that look at that cute little face oh my goodness we're gonna, go, we're gonna go real slow. Did I get a little side eye on my treat stick there? I think I did. I think you're eyeballing my treat stick. Okay, we got a little little movement there by me. No movement by him. Okay, it's okay. All right. There we go. Look at that. Look at us lounging. No, he's kind of comfy. Oh, he's so gentle. He's a gentle treat taker. That's cute. Look at his eyes. I can't. Are they a little murky? No, they're they're clear. I wonder how old he is. I mean, he looks. It said on the sheet. I didn't pay attention, but he looks pretty young. Three, four, maybe maybe five or six middle-aged okay that's good that's good look at that he heard me tearing my treat stick and he's interested let's try something let's see if we can get a little a little movement there coming out of your shell yeah good boy good boy i would love to know if you have a name let me see first if i can get him out of, out of his shell just a little bit more so I'm leaning a little bit on his back hip with my arm on purpose just to kind of introduce that touch without it being uh, kind of the highlight of that moment. And he's okay with that. He didn't like jump away. Not that there's a lot of room to jump away, but watch, I'll do it again. I try to just introduce that, that touch a little bit, kind of that pressure, like I'm a little bit of a weighted blanket. 
My wife loves weighted blankets. I can't handle it because it's like, I feel like I'm in a straight jacket, but I know a lot of people love weighted blankets. Feels like a big giant hug, I guess. Maybe I need to try it again and think of it that way. I can't do it. I just, I'm talking a bunch of nonsense to some extent right now, just to get him familiar with my voice and my talking and just the repetitive nature of the treats and putting my arm on him. You see how he's fine with my arm on him? I'll try a little pet here. Oh yeah, that's good. That feels good, right? A little, a little bum scratch there. Okay, okay. Every time he hears the tear of my treat, he's interested. Let's go a little tighter. Okay. That feel good? Okay. Oh, this is good. Good boy. Well, okay, I can't, I can't wait any longer. I gotta find some stuff out. Uh, Alexis, you in here? Yeah. yeah hey, well, tell, tell me something. Tell me something good about this guy. Well, he was found running around uh, by animal control and brought in just last night, probably. Okay, you're running around? Sorry, bud. I'm trying to see. I want to get closer to his collar. I mean, the collar looks pretty clean and stuff. Eventually, he'll go through health check. The collar will be removed. He'll get a, a safer kennel collar on him so he didn't, like, get it caught on something. Looks like it, it's been a beat since he's been groomed, but I mean, he doesn't look like... He's not exceptionally dirty or anything. What... Uh, do we know how old? He's around five and a half. This isn't his first time here. What happened when he was here before? Was he adopted or by the same person, you mean? Well, the first time he was here was in 2021. Okay. This has been a couple years. He was put in night drop probably by a good Samaritan, found him out running. Okay. And apparently his microchip fell out while he was here, which is interesting. How does that happen? I've never even heard of that. That just in the notes? Yeah, uh, so they rechipped him uh, for the for the owner. Well, that's wild. I've never heard of a microchip falling out. That's weird, right? Yeah. Uh, well, it looks like maybe during his health check. Like uh, there was a procedure or something. Fell out. Um, no idea. Just uh, found in exam room is what it said. So they wow. called the owner to get the the chip reimplanted. I have honestly never heard of that. That's wild. The microchip's like a little piece of rice and it goes in with a really small needle and just goes in there. It's not like a tracker, so it's not really big. It's just an identifier when you scan. You have to have the device to scan it and then it has the information on the dog. So for the microchip to fall out, it might mean like it wasn't put in there properly, only halfway, I think. I'm guessing here because I've never heard of it, but I, you know. It could, it could potentially mean, I, I'm just guessing here, um, that you know he could have been wiggly nervous when he got it, when he got the he microchip got um and that could have contributed to not being implanted properly the first time around maybe he was scared he and was scared like probably. he is right now well i'd be scared too if i keep showing up here dude i'm sorry buddy but you like treats so that's good i am sorry that you have gone through this let's see if you let me pet you here i bet you will Let's see if we can get some comfort here. You have really cool eyebrows. Oh, are you falling asleep? Oh, that's pretty cute, look at that. Oh, hi. The, the thing about a dog when they come in in this state and they just don't know what's going on, if you can get to the point where you can give them a little affection, it just gives them a relief. And you know, he might have, if he came in at night or whatever, he might not have slept at all. And so just this moment of relaxation can really do wonders. Like think about if you, if it's been forever and ever since you've had a massage and you have a massage, you're just like zonked, <laughs> you know? So this can go a long way. Are you asleep? I can't, it looks like your eyes are closed now. <laughs> sitting, sitting with dogs as they fall asleep. <laughs> do you see this guy? Should we try some, oh, hi. Wait, I think he likes the sound of the bag of treats. Kel, will you hand me our bag of treats? This is like a, this is not a meant to be a promo. I, I think he knows treats by the sound of the bag. Okay, Kelly's coming in so you can see he's pausing. Our treat? Is that exciting, the bag of treats opening? Let's see. 
Where's that? Where's that? Here you go. There you go. Too much. Is that asking too much on my leg right there? Come on. That's a big piece. That's a big piece. Come on. Good boy. Good boy. I'm gonna try petting him and touching him and move him and moving him around a little bit. Cause I, I feel like if I can get him out of this little corner right here, it might go a long way. And I think he's open to it with, with how much he was like falling asleep with the petting. Oh, good boy. Good boy. You want to you want to come in my lap? I think I think we're gonna uh, try to perform the scoop here in a minute. We'll try. We won't push him too much, but I bet if I can get him in my lap and show him a little a little love, it'll just make him so much more comfortable. Come here. Okay. All right. You're okay. Okay. All right. That tail's tucked under. There we go. Ah, uh, the scoop. Okay. There we go. You want to take a bite? You just bite on like a beef stick? You can get it. Come on. You need help? Okay. There you go. There you go. Okay. We're going to be okay. Yeah. As long as we have each other and treats. No, no. <laughs> this, this little beat. Beat. Okay, there you go. See, I'll take that whole stick. There you go. Okay. No. Here, let's. <laughs> you got your eye on the prize, huh? He's. It's. It's cute though, because he's relaxing with this distraction. Like his his hips aren't shaking as much. I'll put this over here where I can grab it. Okay, and let's go like this, one at a time. Oh yeah, you are adorable. Let's try some positive affirmations. I want to tell him in this environment so that he starts kind of connecting this environment as not a scary place, but a place where he's safe. Because that's, that's what it is, right? It's a safe place for him. Hopefully, until we can reunite him with his family. You're a good boy. You're a good boy. You're a good boy. Hi, you're a good boy. Let's associate with a treat. Good dog. Good boy. Yeah, I did a good boy. Yeah. You're a good boy. You're a good boy. Good boy. Yeah. Good boy. Yeah. Yay. Good boy. Wait, oh, do we have a name? No it's name. Not. It's not on the microchip, huh? I, mean, I guess not. Yeah, I didn't see a name in there. Huh. Hi. Oh, did I get a little paw? Daggy little paw, hi. You're a good boy with no name. Certainly you have a name, at least nickname, until hopefully, fingers crossed, his family comes to get him. And by the way, that's what we want most of the time because he has a family, hopefully, who loves him and he loves his family. But I don't know, maybe we do more of a human name. Oh, we could do, this. We could do a celebrity name. What should we, what should your celebrity nickname be? Who do you look like? Name Travis Kelsey. Travis Kelsey? Okay. Travis you Kelsey. TK for sure. I like Travis. Travis? Yeah. Let's do that. Travis Kelsey of the Kansas City Chiefs, best football team on the planet. And, uh, Taylor Swift's husband, basically, at this point. <laughs> Go Kansas City! I, I like naming dogs human names. It just, it gives him such a personality. And I think that if Travis's family doesn't come for him, I would be willing to drive Travis Kelsey to Taylor Swift in Kansas City. Because they could adopt Travis Kelsey. They probably got the funds, and they probably got plenty of room. <laughs> it seems a you know a little rough around the edges. Not too bad, but he's definitely definitely could use a bath. Oh, what's that? You got an itch? Uh, might have fleas. 
That's going to be the headline this Sunday. Travis Kelsey has fleece. <laughs> I've seen crazier stuff. He's a cute dog, huh? Yeah, he is. He's like the perfect the dog. dog. Uh -huh. The dog is cute. Why did you reiterate that it's the dog you're talking about? I just wanted about? to make sure you knew what I was talking about. <laughs> See what I put up with here, guys. <laughs> what I was going to say before Kelly got off on a tangent about how cute Travis Kelsey, the dog, is, um, is he's like the perfect size dog. Medium dogs are awesome because he's not like a giant dog, doesn't take up a lot of space, doesn't take up a lot of food, but he's also not a small dog that you're worried about sitting on when you sit on the couch. Like he's that perfect medium size, you know, 30, 35 pound dog. I know I sound a little bit like a used car salesman right now, and who knows, maybe his family will come get him. But just in case they don't, then uh, I do want to be like a used car salesman, <laughs> you know? Someone's gotta advocate for these dogs, because in all seriousness, it's one of the reasons I do this. And if you volunteer, it's one of the reasons you should volunteer, because these dogs don't have a voice. We are their voice. I am Travis Kelsey's voice. That's hard to say with a straight face. <laughs> but. Uh, but really, like, it's up to us to highlight them, to tell their story, to show who they are, and show the really great attributes of them. Like, for, for example, this guy is probably an amazing couch potato cuddle bug. He's cute, though, isn't he? Look at that. Okay, Alexis, anything else? Any other notes or details that are interesting? They have reached out already to the owner. Oh, they called him? Anything, uh, did they get in contact with them? Nothing him? yet. I mean, it's, it's, this is the first uh, day okay. for this guy. So he just came in. Shelter probably reached out right away and said, you know, hey, he's in here. Before even taking his collar off or anything, just to see if they could get a hold of the owner. Haven't heard anything back. So they could be, the person could be at work. It could be an old phone number. Who knows? And I'm hoping for the best. Like how he's relaxing. He, he's so cute there. And listen, if, you, if you're watching this, and I know I say this in almost every video, but it's because it's so important. If you're watching this and you want to go do this and you want to go sit with dogs at a shelter, the best place to start is by volunteering. Like if you go volunteer at a shelter, you get to interact with the pets so much and you get to be such an impact in helping those pets. And if you want to be a part of this and what we're doing and contribute, you can become a member for a small monthly fee. You get to become a member. You get a behind the scenes look at things we're doing. You get to be the first to know uh, on updates. Like if his family comes to get him, we update members first. If he gets adopted, we update members first. Um, and we do that because it's kind of a safe space that way and things change really fast. So before I go out to the public with the updates, I wait a few days, uh, but I let members know right away. It's really fun having this awesome dog rescue loving community, so you can do that. Another way to be a part of it is I made these Sitting With Dogs shirts, which is just a one line simple logo that says with dogs because life's better with dogs. And so I've kind of taken up that slogan of with dogs because we're all on this journey together helping dogs. Together, with dogs. <laughs> Life's better with dogs. Life's better with this little nugget. And I know it's hard right now, but you're gonna be okay, buddy. Either your family's gonna come get you, or we're gonna make sure you have an awesome family. One way or another, you're gonna be taken care of. Uh, I will tell you something really cool that I found out today. So we're working to build an outside area that has shade coverage with Furbo and their Furbo for Good program. And so every month we've been raising funds. A lot of you have been contributing and um, we are very close to having all the funds we need to build this really needed outdoor shade area. Thanks to Furbo for Good matching those funds every single month. And Furbo is actually the sponsor of this video and that helps so much because we have a company that is in it as much as we are that wants to help and support dogs as much as we do and they support us it's so awesome and not to mention i've been using furbo dog camera in my home now for years it helps so much with kobe's anxiety because we're able to check in on him when we're not home say hello to him toss him a treat it goes a long way and together with furbo for good 
We're helping feed dogs, shelter dogs, Furbo for Good helps with training, whatever it takes to help these dogs when they're in an environment where they need help. So thank you Furbo for being a sponsor of this video and Furbo for Good for being such an awesome initiative. And don't forget, if you have cats, they also have the Furbo cat camera, which is unbelievably amazing. I don't know if it's coming across on camera how he's just melting, like how he's just, he's just like butter in my arms right now. <laughs> and that makes me really happy. You know, because he went from that scared state to now this relaxed state. And he looks, I mean, look at this. He looks like a dog you'd see in a commercial. Like, he's such a cute little terrier. Right? Am I right? Am I right, Travis? Okay, it's okay. We got a little shake there. We'll, we'll bring it down a notch. I got to remember to bring my energy down to match them a little bit. You're a good boy, Travis. Do you like your name, Travis? Hey, you're not against it, huh? And let me just say thank you to Animal Friends of the Valleys. It's been really neat. It's the holiday time right now. Just seeing how much love and care and holiday spirit goes into helping these pets. I just can't thank everyone at Animal Friends of the Valleys enough for everything you do. I need everyone to share this because we want this to either find his family or if his family doesn't come, we want this to help him find a home. So one of the biggest ways you can help is share this. Let's spread the message and leave a comment of love and support down there for him. He's obviously scared and going through it and he can feel that, like he, he can feel that energy. So uh, leave a comment of love and support and I will keep you guys updated. Pup dates will be in the pup date videos. I'll link them, uh, right, goes right here, right here, one of, these, one of these corners or you can just check in the description below. You can always go to rockykanaka.com too and we have all the updates on the dogs there. Thanks for sitting with dogs with me.